Wanted and Unwanted Challenges Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with you all. We have acquainted ourselves with the experience of your hardest challenges in life. We have noticed how they come up and how you generally approach them. What we are accessing for you some suggestions as to how you can avoid creating these challenges for yourself in the first place and some ideas of how to approach the challenges that already exist in your lives. Sometimes you create a challenge for yourself because you want to prove that you can overcome it, and this is something you do quite subconsciously. You think that the bigger the challenge, the better the rewards and accolades once you are past it. Sometimes you create a challenge for yourself because you believe that the world works in a certain way. Some of these challenges are about fitting in with the rest of your fellow humans who are struggling. Now, there's nothing wrong with a good challenge. In fact, we see them as quite beneficial to you. But here is a challenge that we believe serves you. Let us say that you want to have the experience of traveling to another part of the world and seeing a sacred site. Let us say that you want to have some beautiful and magical experiences on the trip. Now let us say that you have not enough money to buy the plane ticket and even though your credit cards are maxed out, you can challenge yourself to get there anyway and have the experience you want to have. That's a challenge that you want to face, that you can draw more energy through you to face, and that you will feel a sense of accomplishment once you get past it. Creating challenges for yourself subconsciously are usually not the kind that you actually want to face and get past. They are the challenges of limitation. If you have one of these challenges in your life right now, rather than kicking yourself for having created in the first place, we suggest that you rise up to face it. We suggest that you notice how you got to where you are, and that you decide that you are going to exceed the limitations that you imposed upon yourself to get into that particular challenge. You do so by drawing from the energy that is available to you at all times, and that is also how you face the challenge of getting where you want to go and experiencing what you want to experience in spite of conditions that suggest that you will not be able to. So we encourage you to face the challenges that are in front of you now and create some consciously that you will enjoy meeting and overcoming. An increase in your abilities. We have begun to process information that we receive from all of you who reach out and we have determined that you are ready to amplify the abilities that you have. The abilities that you seek and have sought after for quite some time are also being made more readily available to you. Now, this is not a unilateral decision that we make. It is a decision that you are making on the higher levels of your beingness. And, of course, your guides are very supportive of seeing you access more of those fifth-dimensional abilities that you all hear so much about. Even the ability to connect with beings such as ourselves is one that more of you than ever are capable of having and utilizing. We are meant to be your guides and to serve, and we want to reach as many of you as we can. But getting back to your fifth dimensional abilities now, we must say that it's going to be hard for some of you to accept that which you are experiencing is real. There have been lifetimes for each of you when you tapped into abilities that others did not have, and you were branded as insane or a witch or in some other ways ostracized. And so, as much as you want to have the abilities that you want to have, you also understand that they come with a price. For some of you, that price will simply be processing the fears that you have of persecution and the fears that you have a simply being weird. For others, you will need to process the branding that can take place, that persecution, and all that you have suffered in your previous lives when you were able to see and do and hear things that others could not. It is time for all of you to step into the power so you can guide, so that you can lead, and so that you can help to awaken those who have no idea that there is a shift happening. This can be fun for you if you allow it to be. It does not have to be a burden. Open yourselves to receiving those abilities and trust and that what you see and what you hear and what you feel is really real. Enhance Your Life Experience we have discovered the fastest way for you to enhance your life experience is to stop whatever you are doing and be more present with it. We have noticed that humans are eager to get to some future moment that will be better than the one they are currently in. And this actually holds you back because there is no way to offer a vibration from the future. You can only offer a vibration from the now moment. The more deeply you connect with the now moment, the more you are able to appreciate about it. The more you are able to take in with your five senses the more you can feel yourself moving through that experience. All that is the way to enhance every moment that you are lining up for yourselves as well. This journey is ultimately about you. It's not about getting to the perfect life or the fifth dimension or the outer space. It's not about getting anywhere. It is about becoming. 
and the process of becoming for all of you is anchored in the present moment, and it is anchored in experience. The only way for you to evolve is through experience, and when you rob yourselves of a large percentage of the experience you are having by not giving it your full attention, you also slow down that process of evolution that you are also excited about. So please hear us when we say that the now moment is where it's at. And the quickest way for you to sink more deeply into the now moment is by taking a deep breath. By taking a deep breath, you immediately align all your bodies, your physical, emotional, mental, and energetic. They all align because the breath solidifies your existence in the now moment. Be willing to explore what is right in front of you with the curiosity of a child and with no expectation. Simply be with what is and see how your experience of it transforms right before your eyes. And as your experience transforms, so do you. From this point forward, this is the time for all of you to reflect upon the lies that you have led up until this moment. It is a time for you to examine decisions that you have made and where you have been able to overcome obstacles. Now is a time for all of you to begin to accept that from this point forward, the life that you will be living will be your own creation. The life that you will live from this point forward has nothing to do with the blueprint that was in place before you incarnated. You are awakened creator beings who understand vibration, and that is all you need to put yourself on the timeline that you want to be on to manifest circumstances, events, and people in your lives. It is time for you to react less and create more. When you are comfortable, calm, and relaxed, that is the ideal time for you to create. When you are reaching for something that you feel you need in order to complete yourself, that is a time for you to process. It's important for you to know the difference and notice the difference between processing and creating. You have so much life to live, so much value to shift in consciousness, and so much to teach others who do not have the understanding that you have of what is happening. As you practice creating your reality, realize that you are showing others how to do it as well. You are leading the way. You are the pioneers who have looked beyond the physical, beyond the solar system, and beyond yourself to not only what is possible, but what is highly probable for you to experience in this lifetime. There is no need for you to create anything that you don't want to experience. Awareness is the key. Be aware of the vibration you are offering. Be aware of whether it is time to process or to create, and be aware of how you are being of service to others. That is when you are at your most powerful. That is when you have the most support and when you are the most creative. Massive changes start with you. You are beginning to question the stories that have told since your birth. You are beginning to notice that those who tell the stories have an ulterior motive. They want you to believe what they want you to believe. Usually you are told that something is for your own good, for your own protection, and for your own safety. These are the ways in which those in power have used their power and influence to control you. But the people are waking up and realizing that the beliefs that have been handed down from generation to generation are not the beliefs that you all want to hold. Part of the deprogramming process is occurring on the energetic level, and part was occurring because of the access that you have to information. It is impossible for seekers to say secret in this day and age, as the world gets out about the lies and the manipulation that occur within governments, corporations, and within the media. You all are deciding that you are going to empower yourself. As you take your attention away from those who want to lie and manipulate and cover up, and you put your attention on what you can do, you take back your power. We are not talking about protesting the ones in power. We are not talking about acknowledging them at all. We are talking about accessing your own truth, accessing your personal power, and becoming your own authority. You don't have to tear down the house of cards. It will fall on its own. All you have to do in order to create the reality that you want to experience is to put your attention on that which you want to create. You don't need to look outside of yourself for anyone else to create that for you. What you need are new systems, and who better to create those systems than the ones who have been railroaded by them for their entire lives? Therefore we suggest that you put your attention on the spark of the divinity that exists within each and every one of you, the power that you have to focus and to create, and the desire that you have for massive change in this world of yours. Precise Offerings of Vibration we are putting together a transmission that will be sent to all of you who are ready to accept what we have to offer. It is a transmission of energy that will take you to the next step along your path, and it will bring you to the next level of your evolutionary journey. We are watching all of you and monitoring your vibrations and your energy fields, 
and we are calibrating the transmission so it will affect you in the most appropriate and desired way. This is the type of precision that we work with here in the ninth dimension. We invite all of you to operate with that same desire for precision, because in order for you to maximize your effectiveness as creator beings, you must first be willing to be very precise about what it is that you're emanating. This means that you need to pay more attention to what is going on within you than what is going on in the world or in your personal lives. We are suggesting that you focus on the vibration that you want to create your reality with above and beyond all other considerations. Now there is much in the world and in your personal lives that can get your attention. And when these things get your attention, they can alter your vibration. Because when you harmonize with something that is of a particular vibration, you become it. You become a part of it, and it becomes part of you. You must be very careful and precise about what it is you want to activate within yourself. Sometimes that means letting go of circumstances. When you are able to let go of the circumstances of your life that are not of the vibration that you want to create with, that is when you take back control. That is when you become empowered, and that is when you are effective creator beings. Now offering your vibration is easier than you think. Just focus inwardly with your intention and be precise about which vibration you are offering. This is the way to become a creator being of the fifth dimension that you are destined to become. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you.